I literally moved everything in my room so I could have a better background for this. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video about my 2023 New Year's resolutions. I did actually film this video last year, but I didn't end up posting it. I feel like I'm more accountable when I have it on film and I have proof of me saying it. Just hoping that everyone had a safe and fun holiday season. I am so excited to start the new year. If you are new here or you haven't been keeping up with my videos, you might not know that I am planning on moving downtown Toronto in the coming months. Planning for March 1st, excited to have my own space and also be able to record more, but I thought I would kick off this year's first video with a 2023 New Year's resolution. I did actually sit down and reflect last night. So I wrote down 10 resolutions that I have in mind for 2023. I'd really love to hear some of your resolutions, so make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna get into it, and I'm hoping that a lot of them are attainable or achievable, or that they are something that you guys can add to your New Year's resolution. It's never too early to start any of these things, let's be honest. The first one I'm gonna start with is to continue flossing every day, keeping in check with my oral hygiene. So I don't have a problem brushing my teeth. I brush my teeth and always have brushed my teeth twice a day morning and night. I actually got a new electric toothbrush last year. I never really flossed. I'm not even gonna lie. I always remember going to the dentist and getting in trouble because the dentist would be like, hey, you should probably floss your teeth. Last year, one of my goals was just to like start flossing like two to three days a week. And I know that seems like very little, but to me that was hard because I just did not get in the habit. Over the course of 2022, I was able to like continually floss my teeth for like four nights of the week. And then sometimes I would get a little lazy because I would go to Aiden's, but that is not an excuse this year. This year, I'm gonna go for seven days a week. I think it'll get a little bit easier when Aiden and I move in together because I'll have a routine. That is my first goal. And I feel like that's something that everyone can kind of add. This is also a reminder for anyone who has benefits, student benefits, work benefits, benefits from your spouse, use them. Keep up with your oral hygiene, everybody. Everyone should be doing it. And also go see the dentist like twice a year. I'm gonna keep moving around because I find these types of videos when people do Q and A's moving around more interactive and also just like more fun to watch. So my second resolution is to use a monthly budgeting sheet. That is kind of coming in now because I'm thinking of moving out. But I think something that I really wanna do is actually keep a record of all my receipts and go through like my monthly banking statements to see like what I've been spending Money on and also just having the habit of checking my statements actually at the gym I go to during the COVID season they allowed people to freeze their accounts and so I emailed had requested freezing my account clearly it didn't happen because three months later I decided to check my account and I see that they've been withdrawing money from my account and I was just like yeah maybe I should have checked that that is a lesson learned and I've already started a budgeting sheet I kind of inputted my current monthly salary or income and then I deducted fixed spendings things that I've anticipated like rent, utilities, RRSP, and my TFSA PPPs, which are prepayment plans that I have currently ongoing. How much I anticipate to spend on groceries, shopping, eating out, or entertainment. All those things I've inputted into a budgeting sheet so I can see kind of how much I can expect to be spending each month. It's honestly relieved a lot of anxiety for me. It wasn't until I made the budgeting sheet that I realized that I could actually like afford things and I could probably live like a decent quality of life. But that being said, that's obviously a privilege and not something that everyone gets so I'm very grateful that I have a job and I have a job that I like and that it is stable it's always nice to have actual numbers to reflect on my third resolution is actually to continue going to the gym but actually putting in a little bit more effort I find sometimes I do go to the gym and it's just to go to the gym but I'm not putting in the effort that I should be in order to see growth and you know every day can't be hundred and ten percent not every day is gonna be a hundred percent but I think something that I did notice was that I'd be going to the the gym and then I would be focusing on sending emails for work or scrolling on social media and then I'd go in and do my set and I wouldn't really be exhausted or tired to me at least symbolizes that I'm not putting in as much effort as I should be for the amount of time that I'm spending there although I have made friends at the gym I have found that I've really just been talking, talking away as much as I love them and as much as I do enjoy talking to them because I am extroverted I find that it has been increasing the amount of time in between my sets puts me in a lazier mood to be honest and makes me not want to perform sets so something to keep in mind and keep myself in check is to not talk as much as I do already at the gym it's already a mental hurdle to go to the gym every day after work just know that sometimes showing up isn't enough it's showing up and then putting in the work for the longest time I was on a plateau in terms of 
of my like performance and my physique and stuff like that. Never really want to increase weights. I don't know why. I think I just got comfortable. And also as a woman, please keep in mind menstrual cycle has a huge impact on your performance. I'm assuming once I move downtown, I'm going to have a better routine, a better set schedule. Something to keep in mind and I definitely need to stretch before working out, stretch after working out, get more frequent massages, do some foam rolling and making sure that my body's in good check and even just doing days where I have active recovery where I'm doing mobility. I know you guys are going to be like, okay, your one resolution has like A, B, C, D, E, F, G after it. And they do because I think there are a lot of factors to consider in each resolution and things to think about in order to make them achievable or successful for you throughout the year. My fourth resolution for 2023 is to have a better relationship with food. I don't want to say poor, but I just, I have very poor self-control in regards to being around food. For Christmas, Aiden got me Maltesers and I literally ate all that in one sitting. Just having more like healthy or filling meals and kind of getting to know more about what foods feel my body and how foods make my body feel because there are definitely foods like dairy for example that I probably should not eat, be eating. I'm not lactose intolerant but I definitely think that I do have a sensitivity to lactose. When I have grapes I feel so bloated and disgusting like I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Caffeine, something that I've noticed is caffeine does make me a little bit jittery and a little bit anxious especially if I am having it on an empty stomach. Switch to having some tea which is lower in caffeine and I recently purchased some caffeine free, stim free pre-workout. Once again once I am able to move into my own place and feed my own body the way I want to feed it. I feel like I'm gonna have a way better relationship with food. I think right now it's a little bit challenging because my mom does love to cook and sometimes she does cook things I wouldn't necessarily want to eat or things that I don't necessarily think are healthy for me to be eating on a frequent basis. It breaks my heart to say no to her food. In the previous videos I've watched back all my vlogs and it seems like I binge drink a lot. Maybe having like one or two casuals rather than binge drinking and getting blackout because obviously as I age the hangovers have gotten way worse but also my body feels like absolute shit I think I just need to treat my body better and I'm really excited because once I do move out I'm gonna have all these cooking videos that I'm gonna be able to share with you and share with you guys exactly what I'm making what I'm eating what my diet's like and I think that's gonna be really fun because I do actually love recording cooking videos I got thirsty so I made a little tea look how cute my mug is I'm gonna spill this it's from Anthropology. Ifa's got it for me for Christmas. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, it's too hot. I can't drink it. My fifth New Year's resolution is to pick a screenless hobby because I spend way too much time on my phone, on my laptop, on my work laptop. There isn't a time where I'm not looking at a screen, it feels like. My vision has gotten progressively worse and I am fully blaming the fact that I spend so much time looking at screens. Things like reading, things like crochet, things like the other day I picked up wire flower making randomly and that was fun. TikTok has definitely ruined my ability to focus and doing these kinds of crafts really allows me to kind of like hone in and focus on something. As a Pisces, like I feel like I naturally have six hobbies going on at a time that I never really finish. You know the book, It Ends With Us. Yeah, so I read the sequel. I haven't finished it. There is literally one chapter and I refuse to finish it for some reason, which is very stupid of me. Oh, one hobby that I really want to get into when I live downtown is actually like pottery making. I have always been really fascinated by it and I could even start doing rugs again. If you guys don't know, I used to do rugs. I've made a couple before. They take me 10 years because I have to poke every individual hole for the rug. Like Aiden's little master sign that I made him, that took 30 hours. I do actually really want an espresso machine when Aiden and I move into a condo together and I want to get in to like the art of making espresso as I literally just talked about not consuming as much caffeine I guess you can buy decaf I can buy decaf tastes the same I'm learning how to do latte art and stuff which is kind of funny because last night I told Aiden how I realized that latte art is really like a lot of foam and every single time I ask for a drink I ask for no foam so I don't know how that's gonna work out for me but I have been watching like copious and abnormal amounts of videos about espresso machines espresso grinders everything literally everything you can think of and like these videos are like literal math now it makes so much more sense why people have nespressos instead of like manual espresso machines because it's so much easier but i just want to get into the art of it i love when people have niche hobbies and interests i know i can drink some tea but it's just way too hot my sixth new year's resolution is to stop editing in my fucking bed <laughs> 
First off, when I wrote this, I was literally in my bed. My back is literally broken right now. Writing this list, my back, my neck, my spine just gets contorted and it's so bad for me. I really just need a comfortable little desk and seating area, ergonomic chair for myself. I got a massage and the massage therapist was like, yeah, you need to like fix your neck when you're looking down at your screen because it's very obvious to him. I think a lot of us can fix just like our posture in general. I should be standing at like a stand-up desk when I'm working because I find like that's actually the most comfortable for my body. That's something that I need in my life ASAP. I have a live audience as I film this right now, quite literally watching me do this. The next New Year's resolution I have, putting my stuff away and actually being kind of somewhat organized. Once again, going back to the fact that Aiden and I are gonna be moving in together, Aiden is a complete neat freak and I don't know if you guys know that, but he is very, very tidy. You know that TikTok trend where it's like your environment is a reflection of your mind? Yeah, so his mind is very like tidy, clean, organized. Mine is like fucked. Mine is like a complete disaster. My room will just have like piles of clothes on the end of my bed. Okay, actually no, I never put my clothes on the floor. I have some weird like ick. When my clothes touch the floor, they have to be washed. Like I, I just don't like it, I hate it. Like, when Aiden got home from Christmas with his mom last weekend, he literally put everything away, set everything up right away. I literally still have stuff sitting in the bag that I haven't taken out and that's why I have a problem and that's why I need to improve. And Aiden's gonna go insane if I don't. So to kind of keep me motivated, I really wanna do Sunday reset videos. This is going to change next year, guys. This will change. I promise you. My eighth New Year's resolution is to just travel more. I feel like because of COVID, I and many others have not been able to travel as much as they'd like. I do want to do travel vlogs and bring you guys along with me. Ow, my legs are breaking! Because I have like my first real big girl job, vacation is paid, I should really be taking advantage of it. Work is important, but also living your life is very important. And I think as I've gotten older, that's something I've come to realize. I'm getting a little bit older. I'm not old. I'm 25. I'm not old. I think eventually I'll want like a dog or another pet because once I move out Luna and Soda are gonna be staying here I really want to go back to Hong Kong and revisit my brother does live there now And I have not gone to Hong Kong in a hot minute I've also never been to Europe at my freaking old age of 25, which is kind of embarrassing for me Aiden and I really do want to go to Italy, but we don't want to just stay in one spot We want to travel around Italian food is just like Ow, my knees breaking. All right Moving on. Okay, perfect. I'm actually like in a comfortable spot now, whereas before my knees were actually breaking in order to sit there. I don't know why I picked that spot. My ninth resolution is something that I think almost all of us can relate to, and that's to stop spending money on trendy or viral products because I really social media and just being on the internet has really caused us to overconsume products being a smarter consumer because it is very easy to just tap your phone tap your card and not worry influencers are definitely doing their job right tiktok has really taken over because there's so many amazon storefronts now guys stay strong you don't need that item you can survive without it. Something that my parents really taught and ingrained into my little brain when I was a child was that you should not buy something the second you see it. Give yourself a week, and if a week later you still want it, then fair enough, buy it. Giving yourself that time to process if you need it, if you're justifying the purchase. Do you guys like this chair? My sister works in production and they were like literally giving this chair away, so she picked it up. It is so comfortable, it's also probably very expensive because I'm pretty sure it's vintage. My last New Year's resolution is to be more... How do I say this? I just want to be more confident in the way that I vlog in public. I'm honestly not confident at all. I get very uncomfortable vlogging in front of people. I rarely vlog with my friends or people who don't know I have a channel. I actually do not broadcast or tell any of my friends that I do YouTube. There are a handful of people that know. It's hard for me to share because I feel like a part of me knows that they won't understand why I like doing it. I hate also forcing my friends and my family to watch my content because it may not just be the content for them. Everyone who has shown up here on my channel that I don't know personally or haven't told that I have a channel personally are people who naturally came across my videos and I think for that reason I feel very close with my community and I feel very happy to have everyone here. It feels like everything is very genuine, very natural progression. I have a closer relationship with my subscribers. For example, Scratching Pete is someone who has been watching for a very very long time. I look forward to reading his comments every week. This is why this is my New Year's resolution is because I want to create higher quality videos. I keep telling myself previously like oh I'm gonna tell my friends and family about my YouTube when I hit 1k and then I hit 1k 
and I was like, okay, 2K. And now I've hit 2K and I still haven't told them. And now I'm planning maybe 5K. Sometimes I think I struggle with feeling proud about my own work and my own accomplishments. When I hit 1K, I was like, okay, that's 1K. Like, does that mean anything to anyone? And then when I hit 2K, I was like, okay, but does that prove my worth to these people? And at the end of the day, like I'm thinking about this, I'm like, this is so fucked up. Like if they're my friends and my family, they should not care. At the end of the day, some people will never be able to understand why content creators do what they do. I'm gonna conclude the video there. Start my moving series very shortly. So I'm so excited to share with you guys, but I hope you guys had a wonderful 2022. And I'm so excited for 2023 because I'm just excited to see more growth and just growth personally and on my channel. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss my series of moving downtown. I'm so excited to start it and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year.